cheese makers welcome back today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to paint in your own elephant I'm doing this little baby elephant here all I need is some black paint and a small pointy brush I'm gonna to try to break this down as simple as possible so we're gonna twirl our brush in our paint and we're gonna identify where the body of our elephant is first we're gonna be starting with just circles this back circle is going to be the belly or the bottom of our elephant. I'm keeping it about two to three inches off the ground as I do want to make sure I have some room for my legs. Then I'm going to be making a smaller head, I would say about half or one third of the size of the circle I already did, over to the left and up just a hair. Then we're going to connect those lines with curved lines. The top one dips in, um, dips down I should say, and the bottom one dips up like a hill and then back down underneath of the body. For the ear, I like to think of it as a triangle shape. We kind of go up like a little ramp and then come straight down. We have ourselves a little ear. Next, I'm going to work on the trunk. So the trunk is going to start from the top of the head or the front of the head. And we're gonna bring it down underneath this tail on the other side. Almost kind of looks like a fish hook. You want it to be really, really thin at the end of the trunk and get thicker as it gets towards the head or body and curves under towards the neck. Next, we're going to think about some legs. So we got four. Um, my back two legs are going to kind of come out like a TP shape. Then I'm going to have one front leg coming sort of straight down and the other one is going to come out towards the front like they're crossing over. Then we're just gonna go in and thicken them up. We want them to connect seamlessly to the body, so making sure there are no uh, sharp corners. We wanna round everything out. We also wanna give some hooves to our elephants, so we're gonna really thicken up the areas where the feet are touching the ground. happy with how your elephant looks, you can go ahead and fill everything in. Now of course, don't forget your elephant's little tiny tail. And that is the last and final step to painting an elephant. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We'd love to see how your elephants turned out at home. Post them on social media and don't forget to tag us at muse underscore paint bar so we can check them out. If you want the full tutorial on painting starlit shadows, check out the link in the description below. If you want to see more from our channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that, don't forget to always paint outside the lines.